Let's go back to. Let's start now. Let's close our eyes in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus. Everlasting Father, we thank you for tonight. We thank you for the grace given to us to come and learn. We thank you, O Lord, for your spirit. We thank you, O Lord, because your name is to be praised in all situations. We give you all the glory, O Lord. We exalt your name. We say be thou exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, Lord, we pray as we start, continue tonight's program. We pray you have your way in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray, O Lord, that your spirit, O Lord, will guide us tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Everything we are going to do tonight, O Lord, shall be according to your will in the name of Jesus. Amen. And at the end of tonight's program, O Lord, we shall glorify your name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, because you found something. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. So Christian is only you tonight. Are you okay with that? <laughs> God, I'm happy only you. Wow. That's fine. What we are doing is on we, we we are recording. So at the end of the day, we're going to send the video, you know, to other children so that they can, you know, they can um, watch this program. So don't worry, feel free, okay? And I know you're going to enjoy tonight's program, program, okay? We won't take much of your time, but we just try as much as possible to cover what we can tonight, okay? Good. So, um, before we start, we're going to make our confession. So, we're going to say something nice to our lives. So, make sure you are serious about it. Christa, make sure you are saying something positive into your life. So, we start with, um, I am a glorious child. Hi, mention your name. Hi. Joy, I'm a glorious child. Let's say that. Hi, Joy, I am a glorious child. I, good. I am born. To, I am born to rule and reign. I am born to rule and reign. I shall prosper in every good things. I shall prosper in every good things. I shall bring blessings to my family. I shall bring blessings to my family. Everything I do on her shall prosper. Every good thing I do on her shall prosper. It is, it is well with me and my family in Jesus' name. It is well with me and my family in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, 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 in Jesus' name. So now I'm going to invite Mommy Temi. She's going to start now. Um, so today she'll be speaking on Matthew. Um, is it Matthew chapter 5 tonight? Yes. Um, I think the topic is on, on Beatitude. So let's wash our... Let's wash. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see what she has for us tonight. But I know it's going to be powerful. So let's listen. All right. Over so, to you, Ma. I question, I, I guess it's just you and I today. Are you cool with that? Yeah. Yeah, great. I guess you're, what, what should I say? You'll be my, um, <laughs> <laughs> it's in my muse tonight. <laughs> so um, anything you don't understand, just let me know. Have you got your Bible and your notes pad and your pen? With you. Yeah. All right, good. So we're going to be starting with Matthew chapter 5. I thought we were going to be more than this. I've got activities, but I don't think it will be suited when it's just both of us. So, um, from did you start Matthew chapter 1 to 4 with um, Sister Joy? Okay. What, 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 can you tell me a few of the things that you've learned from Matthew chapter 1 to 4? Um, in Matthew chapter 3, um, Jesus got tempted by the devil and it, it, while that happened, he, he got tempted really badly after he had been fasting for 40 days and 40 nights. Um, and the devil tempted him three things and he denied it because because he didn't want to do the wrong thing wow, wow that's brilliant that's brilliant, that's brilliant. well done <laughs> well done darling I'm, I'm, God well, bless I'm, you. I'm, I'm well impressed that's very <laughs> very good so you see that from chapter one we've seen the birth of jesus 
the family line of Jesus, the temptation of Jesus, and um, the disciples, the calling of the disciples of Jesus. So this chapter 5 is basically where Jesus gave his first sermon, the first message to his disciples. So this message was solely for his disciples. And this chapter 5, this... Um, this sermons because it's not just one it's over 110 verses is basically they call it the sermon on the mount say it after me the sermon on the mount the sermon on the mount that's it and the first one out of the sermon on the mount is the beatitude which i always call it the believer's attitude you know, as a as a child of God, there's a way you have to you have to behave that is different from other people that are not children of God. Do you know that, Christian? Yeah. You know, there are some attitudes, there are some character that you have to show others that will make them without you saying anything, it will make them to know that you are a child of God. Yes. Yes? Yes. Good. So in this chapter, Jesus is call, called his disciples to the side and, he's, and he told them basically some of the attitude they need to have as a child of God. Some of the, you know, I call it the mind of Jesus. He's telling them his mind concerning our everyday life, mm -hmm. concerning how we should live as a believer. If you know this Sermon on the Mount... If you know them, you will be you 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 will realize that your life as a Christian, your life as a as a as a child of God, it will be easy for you because you know the mind of God, you know the mind of Christ in concerning your attitude. So when you go at what year are you in, Christian? Year five. Brilliant, year five. When you go into when you go into school, there's some attitude that you will show, and even your teachers will tell your dad and mom and say, "Look, we know Christian is a good child because he doesn't behave like every other person. He doesn't behave like this one. He doesn't behave like that one." Yeah. So these these are the attitude that God wants you to have. So. Can you read for us? Can you read for us for chapter 5? When he saw the crowds, he went up on the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he opened his mouth and began teaching them, saying, Happy are those conscious the kingdom of heaven belongs to them. Happy are those who mourn since they will come forth. Happy of, of the mild tempered, tempered since they will inherit the earth. Happy are those hungering and thirsting for righteousness since they will be filled. Happy are those merciful since they will be shown mercy. Happy are those pure in heart, since they will see God. Happy are they of the peacemakers, since they will be sons of God. Happy are those who have been persecuted for high righteousness sake, since the kingdom, this kingdom of heaven belongs to them. Happy are those uh, happy are you people we re re approach you and persecute you and lyingly saying every sort of wicked thing against you for my sake rejoice and be overjoyed since your reward is great in the heavens for in that way they persecuted you from the prophets prior to you. You are right. the soul. No, that's fine. That's fine, Christian. 
that's okay that's okay i think we'll stop in chapter in verse 12 just for now if we could go further that's fine but we'll stop at that verse 12. in this short verses that you've read what is the constant word that you could see what is the constant happy. happy that is it is happy that's very brilliant that beatitude that's the the beatitude basically means happy in some translation they call it blessed when a person is blessed they are happy when a person is blessed they are fortunate when a person is blessed they they go out and beyond they are content with it so in your notepad i want you to write down happy and i want you to write down blessed because that's the two they mean the same thing and it means the beatitude also means blessed as well so the first one of the beatitude which is verse three is happy are the are the my says blessed are the poor in spirit for this is the kingdom of heaven christian can you tell me if i say somebody is poor what does it mean when i say someone is poor what does it mean that they don't have any money well yes 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 that's not wrong or right answer they don't have any money it can be money it can be any other thing as well not necessarily money but you know you can say if somebody is poor they don't have money but if somebody is poor they don't have or what they have is not enough so what the bible is saying here is that the the the, the word poor here is also the word humility do you know what humility is yeah what what does humility means like you get like basically ashamed mm. Mm. i wouldn't say <laughs> let's let's um let's mm. your sister let auntie joy tell us what humility is yeah humility um is is a, uh, another way to you know to interpret humility is to humble you know when mm. you are humble when you are not proud mm. so when you are meek in your attitude and when even though you have so many things but you don't you don't you, you don't um you don't show off or you don't prove to the to everyone that you are better than them you don't look down you know on other people so that is what i believe is humility that's good that's a good definition that you don't show off for example if mommy and daddy get you a ticket to disneyland in paris have you been to disneyland before no would you love to go to disneyland yeah right <laughs> so if mommy and daddy gets you a ticket to disneyland for example and you got to school and you keep saying to your friend you know my mom and dad got me to get to disneyland you're poor we're rich you're poor we're rich that is you sure enough mm -hmm. yeah right so when the bible is saying poor in this essence it's talking about people that humble themselves so mommy and daddy got you this ticket to paris and you're happy you're happy to sh you know to share it with your friends and your teacher and you got to school and you're like you know we're really glad my mom and dad got us ticket to paris for this christmas period we're going to paris and i'm really really happy even though even though your friends can they can't afford to go to paris you didn't really put it all in their face and try to brag about it you know try to show off a little bit like no we've got money you've not got that you know you're humble enough to share your happiness but you're not proud looking down on them. you're not looking down on them and tell them how poor they are that they're not going to paris this christmas yeah do you understand that yeah. So when you are poor in spirit, it means that you look unto God. You look unto God to fill up your own spirit. You look unto God. You humble yourself. You know, you're not proud. Because, you know, the Bible says that, um, Blessed be the Lord that God who daily loaded us with benefits. Yes? So if God daily loaded you with benefits, 
you will humbly come to him you know we pray every day that you know we need the infill of the holy spirit we need the infill of the holy spirit not because um, we've run out of the holy spirit but because we are humble enough to go to the presence of god and to say god you know i know i'm a sinner i know i need your spirit you know i'm going about my day today and i need you because i cannot do this by myself yes I, I I get on bus to work, for example, and when I get into the bus, I always pray for the Spirit of God because when I get into the bus to go to work in the morning, that's when people get on the bus and they don't pull, they don't bring out their money on time and I get frustrated. Like, please get your money out before you get on the bus. But when I pray for the Spirit of God, I'm more patient with them. I'm more calm with them. Because I've humbled myself and say, God, take all the glory. I humble myself today. I am poor in spirit. I am poor in dealing with people. I am poor in listening to people talk down to me. I am poor in listening to people argue. So I need your spirit. These are the kind of people, the people that have the heart to be calm, that have the heart to go to God, to humble themselves in God and acknowledge that they are sinners. These are the ones they call the poor in spirit. They humble themselves. They know every day that they need God. They go to God every day. These are the poor in spirit. So, Christian, I'm going to ask you a question. Do you go to God every day and ask him for forgiveness of sins that you know of and that you don't know of? No, see, you need to do that. That is one of your assignments this week for you to remember to ask God every day to forgive you of all your known and unknown sin because in that way, you're showing that you're poor in spirit. You need the infill of the spirit of the Lord to fill you afresh, to make you a brand new person so that you can carry on the character and the attitude of Jesus on your in your playground. Will you do that for me this week? Yeah. Good. And this beatitude, when you go through each and every one of them, you will see that they are all connected. They are all connected because verse 4 says, Blessed are, are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Who are the people that mourn? They are people that feel sorrow, that feel sadness. Not for any reason, but for the fact that they, they, they sorrow for their sin. They sorrow for the sin of others. It's only somebody that is poor in spirit that can mourn for the sin of others. When you, when you go to the playground and your friend pushed another kid to the floor, do you laugh with them or do you go there to help that child? When you, you, you know, even after helping that child, you know, you still need to go to your friend and say, you know, what you did is wrong. Because I feel sorry for this. I feel sorry for, for what you did. I apologize to the, to the kid that you pushed at the playground. So next time when you see your friend do something like that, don't laugh with them. Because you are a child of God. You carry the character, the attitude of a child of God. So when you mourn, you go you go to your friend and you say to him, look, what you did is wrong and I hope you don't do that again. And you remember your friend in prayer. That is you mourning for the sin of your friend, for what your friend did wrong to the other kid. Do you understand me? Yeah. So God is saying that if you do something like that, you will be comforted. You will be comforted because your friend next time, if, if you're not there, and sometimes even when you're there, if he wants to do something like that, he will remember what you said to him the last time. Or she will remember what you said to her the last time. And she won't push another another kid off the, off the playground or she won't push them to the, to the ground again. Yes? 
Yes. And the and the fifth the third one says, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Who are the meek? What what does it mean if I say um you're meek? If I say Christian is a meek boy, what what does that mean? Like he's um really bad and he doesn't know anything. No, mm. it means that Christian is a gentle meek. Meek, meek yeah. is different from when somebody is a uh, mind. Mm. Mind is when somebody is wide, uh, um, but meek is when you are you are gentle, mm. when you are not troublesome, mm. and when um, you are always where your parents want you to be. That's it, it. Yes. So, Yes. So you are meek. But when you are troublesome, you are always fighting, you are here and there, then you are not, you are, people will say you are stubborn. Yes, that's okay. it, yes. So meek is, meek is for people that are gentle, you know, they are patient, you know, they listen to what mommy and daddy say, they try to do good, you know. It's not easy, but they try all they can to do good. That's what being meek means. And it says, they shall inherit the hurt. And what does the Bible mean when they say they shall inherit the earth? It means that if you're patient enough, if you're patient enough, if you're gentle enough, you will see that things are not what they seem to be. Yeah. In the in in the area of if mommy and daddy says Christian, don't go out. And you are a meek child and you stayed indoor, you will see. The benefit of that, in the sense of some of your friends that went outside, yeah, they might go into a fight that involved the police. They might they might go into into a fight with the next neighbor, and one of them got injured and they had to go to the A and E. Yes. So when you're meek, it means that you try to do good. When mommy and daddy say stay indoor, you stay indoor. It means you inherit the heart because you will get, you will gain more by listening to mommy and daddy. You will gain more by being gentle, by being meek. Yes. So we'll go to bless a day which do hunger and test after righteousness, for they shall be filled. What does it mean to be righteous? Mr. Joy, will you tell us what it means to be righteous? Oh, righteousness is when um when you you have no sin. When you are when your life is um is right. Mm. So the word righteousness comes from when something is right, when it's not wrong. So when you don't sin, when you do the right thing, then you are a righteous person. Mm, that's it. So and that is Jesus. Jesus is a, a righteous person and that is why we um like mommy Timmy has been telling us, like this chapter is a very, very good chapter that I want all the children, you know, to pertain. I want them to everyone, you know, to learn. I'm really happy for you tonight on um on um uh, Christian for you know for listening to because th this chapter five summarized the uh, like mommy said, the um believer's attitude. Mm -hmm. The attitude of a Christian, a attitude of you know, a child of God. So and I, I, I'm going to hand over to her because I don't to take over. So, but righteousness, like she has, means um, when somebody is right, when somebody is not doing the wrong thing, mm -hmm. when you are righteous. Mm -hmm. It's not easy to be righteous. You know. It's true Jesus. So that is why we need to be praying every day, you know, God make me righteous. It's true mm -hmm. Jesus, through the help of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So I will leave it with you. Now. That's good. That's good. That's a good example. We need, we need, we need to be righteous. It's not easy, but when we go to God, when we humble ourselves and go to God daily, that's we will in one way or the other. God will make us, will make us, will give us the ability. I will not say make. He will give us the ability the to grace. be to be able the grace. That's the word. The grace to be to be able to be righteous. You know, to be righteous means you're decent. You're very good. You're morally right. So, for example, you're going, you're going to school and you saw ten pounds on the floor. Yes, you take the when you take the money, you don't spend it. You don't spend it because that is not morally right. 
you hand it over to daddy and mommy mommy i found this on the floor or if it is near the corner shop you go to the corner shop guy and say look i found this on the floor or you take it to the police if the police were close to where you are that is morally right that is you being righteous that is you being good you know mommy and daddy puts sweets on the table and they say it's christian don't touch those sweets don't touch those sweets and you're like okay mommy and you didn't touch the sweet that is you being very good that is you being righteous because you did the right thing so next time anybody asks you what is righteousness you know that righteousness is doing the right thing it is you doing the right thing so the bible says that if we do if we hunger and test to do the right thing when we try when we are happy to do the right thing in school, you're happy to tell your friend that stealing is wrong when they stole something or pushing someone at the playground is wrong. The Bible is saying that you shall be filled. You know, when you're hungry, what, what happens when you eat, you feel full. If mom cooks your favorite food, what's your favorite food, Christian? Rice. <laughs> rice that's good and what's your favorite drink apple juice oh my favorite as well yeah, that's one of my favorite as well you know if mom cooked you lovely lovely rice i love fried rice i don't love jello fries no <laughs> I am fried rice. I don't love jello fries. If mommy cook you a nice big bowl of rice with a very nice cool, you know, with some ice apple juice, you know, you will be filled because you're thirsty and you're hungry and it's your favorite food. You will be filled up. And that is what the Bible is saying. When you strive every day that, you know what, I'm going out today and I'm going to do the right thing at my playground i'm gonna do the right thing during lunch time i'm gonna do the right thing in my class i won't talk back to my teacher i'm gonna do the right thing you'll see that you'll be filled because when you get there you will not want to do the wrong thing because god has already filled you up with the, with a lot of the right things to do yes christian yes yeah good 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 and this they well they Fifth one says, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. What does it mean to have mercy on people? To give, to, to like, give good, give good things to them. Well, yes, yes. When you're merciful, you give good things to people, yes. That says, I would, I would, I would stick with that. I'll stick with that. So when you're merciful, you have mercy. You have a you have a heart. You have a heart that wants to give. Not only give money, you can give your time. You know, you can give your time in prayer to other people. When you have mercy on them, God is saying that He will have mercy on you. Say somebody's some you're you're walking down the road, and somebody poured water on you. And you're like, no, I'm taking you to the court. I'm calling the police on you. You know, you put water on me. You're not meant to put water on me. Yeah, that is that is not showing mercy. But when the person put the water on you and you're like, what have you done? And the person's like, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. sorry. I'm so sorry. It wasn't intentional. I'm so sorry. Then you're like, you know what? That's fine. I'm just going to go back home and clean up. It's all right. It's fine. That is you showing mercy. That is you showing mercy. You know. And how can you even show mercy at home? You know mommy and daddy has been to work. They are tired. And you know the house is of cat. There is place to wash. Yes, they might not be your shows. But you have mercy. You look at mommy and daddy and like, oh... You know, I really, I really, really want to help you. I want to make you happy. I want to do the right thing. And you go there, you clean up, you know, the kitchen. You clean up mommy and daddy's room. You help them clean up the sitting room and the bedrooms. You know, that is you showing mercy on them. That is you showing that you have a, you have a compassionate, a merciful heart. Yes? 
That is you showing it to them. And the next one says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. When somebody is pure in heart, what does that mean? If I say, Christian, have you got a pure heart? What does that mean? Are you, like, are you trustful? Well, yes. Somebody that, that has got a pure heart can also be someone that is trustful. Can is um, Sister Joy give us a quick one? Yes. Um, that's that's good, uh, Christian. But um, another way we can define that is when you have a pure heart, then it means that you don't have evil in your heart. So your heart is pure. Your heart is, you know, is 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 right. It's not evil. You, you are not thinking bad about other people, but you wish them well. When people, you know, on um, when something good happened to them. When they discuss, oh, my daddy bought me like a ticket, you know, to like, like mommy to Miss Disneyland, then you are genuinely happy for them. So you have a pure heart. And that is the kind of people God wants. Mm -hmm. And with what um, Sister Joyce said, you know your heart, in your heart, that is where your emotion is. That is where your understanding is. That is where your reasoning is. And God really, really loves our heart. You know, in I think in some um chapters after this chapter you're going to see that the bible talks a little bit about the heart you know out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks you know from what comes out of your of your mouth we know what is in your heart so when you have a pure heart you will speak pure words you will not curse people out do you curse people christian good 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 that is an example of you of you having a pure heart when you don't cause people out you know there's some psalm here in psalm 139 verse 23 you know it talks about the heart it talks about how they they act what 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 the heart entails in jeremiah 17 9 it talks about how our heart is very wicked so that's why we need God. That's why we need to be meek. That's why we need to be poor in spirit. That's why we need to, that's why we need to be, you know, to, to mourn for the sins of others. That's why we need to be meek. That's why we have to do good so that we can have a pure heart. Because it is, it is only someone that has a pure heart that can see God. Do you want to see God, Christian? Yeah. Are you sure you want to see God? Yeah. Good. If you want to see God, you have to have a pure heart. Every anyone and everyone that has seen God, they all have a pure heart. Yes? So for you to have a pure heart, you have to be connected to God. You have to be meek. You have to hunger and test to do the right and the and the morally right thing to be righteous. Yes. So Christian, from all I've said tonight, what have you learned? What is your take home? What are you? What have you? What will you take home today? What did you write down in your notes? Because I see Sister. Have you seen Sister <laughs> Joyce's notes? Look at that. She wrote a lot. She wrote a lot down. So I want you to tell us what you wrote down. I want to learn from you before we go. I wrote the meaning of righteous, uh, uh, and it means that um, you do the right thing. You do. You don't do the wrong thing. You do the right thing and, and it makes you a good person. Good. That's good. fantastic. That's, That's great. great. That's, That's great. great. Let's clap for Christian. Wow. So happy. Good. That's good. That's really good. And one other thing I want you to take home today is that when, you, when you're going to bed tonight and when you wake up for the rest of the week, I want you to ask God to give you a heart that is humble you will tell god god give me a humble spirit give me a humble spirit because it is only the humble spirit 
that can inherit the kingdom of God. Yes? Will you do that for me? Yeah. If you do that, I know that God will speak to you. So I want to hear what God says to you next week. Okay? I want yeah. to know exactly what God says to you next week. If you do that, I want to know exactly what God says to you next week. Okay. Good, good, good. <laughs> God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's clap for Jesus. Let's clap for Jesus. I am so blessed. I am really blessed. Amen. Thank you so much, um, Mommy Tammy, for joining us tonight. Thank um, you. Thank you. If I, this, this program, this topic is... Um, one of the topic I love so much, and yes. I really love the way you mm. break it down. In fact, I, I if if you can allow me, please, I would love you to repeat it next week because of no other problem. children. No so, um, Kristen, I want to say um, well done to you because yes. I can well listen to your Christian. contribution. Yes. It is really really great, and I'm proud mm. of you. I also thank God for your parents. So um, we'll be rounding up tonight, but just a take home and for other people, other children that will be watching this um, video, you know, on the YouTube. So today, um, Matthew chapter 5, we've dealt with the first part of it, and which is um, on Beatitude. And Beatitude, as Mommy Temi just ad um, advised us or um, taught us, because I never knew until now that I was looking at the name Beatitude. That is, I'm, t I'm believing that B means believer attitude. So, <laughs> that is my. <laughs> so that is my, how I break it down. Yeah, she has broken it down, you know, to a uh, believer's attitude, which is really, 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 you know, um, very. Um, you know, very straightforward. So I'm really blessed. Mm -hmm. And now I have another meaning, you know, to that. And also, um, uh, she mentioned a lot of things. And there are some key words that I've written down that I feel we need to, you know, as a child of God to, you know, um, to have in our attitude. So we need to pray to God that God should give us this, you know, these things. One of the things she mentioned is a humble, that we need to be humble, you know, as a child of God. Because an attitude, you know, is... Oh, mm. you need to be. You have to have humility, you know, as mm. a you know, as a child of God. And then we also, she also mentioned something about patience. I think she's talking to me because I need that word most. So you know, you need. She needs. <laughs> you know, as a child of God, you need to be patient. So even when things doesn't work the way you want it, you need to calm down because mm. at times I to, tonight I'm almost disorganized <laughs> because I just want everything to be perfect. You know, I want all the children, you know, to be able to see me, you know, those stuff. But yeah, things happen and you know that's something mm. you can't control. You just have to calm down. So another thing she mentioned is on um, which really touched me because she really broke on um, she the way she break it down makes me really really happy. She said on um, um, happy are those that mourn, you know. Oh, uh, in sp is it in spirit or no? Happy are those that mourn, mourn for they shall be comforted. For they shall be comforted. And she mentioned something about when you mourn for your sin. You know, it's really important that you are when you mourn for your sin. It's another way around is when you are not happy when you sin. You know, some people yes, they get used to it, it when they sin. You yes. know, they assume yes. that oh, you know, they don't yes. really care. But as a child of God, when you sin. You have to be, you, are, you shouldn't be happy. You need to go to God, you know, and ask mm. God for mercy. And can you remember, Chris, saying that she gave you an assignment on that, that this week you need to ask God for, every day you need to be asking God for forgiveness. Yes. So it's really, it's really good because at times we do some things that are not right. So it is good, you know, we ask God for forgiveness. By doing that, it shows that we are humble and it mm. shows that we are not really happy, you know, with that kind of situation or lifestyle. She also mentioned something about meekness. So uh, meekness, um, meek is, uh, I want to spell meek, is M-E-E-K. So I want you, Christa, that's the second, the first assignment. She gave us three assignments, two assignments, but I'm hardly one to hit. So I want you to check the dictionary for the meaning of meek. M-E-E-K. Okay, Manchester, Echo, Echo, Kilo. M-E-E-K. So check your dictionary, you know, just to know the meaning of me. It's really good for a child of God. That is one of the um, things people say in you and say, oh, mm. that child, that boy, that little girl is a child of God. Mm. She also mentioned something about righteousness, which you picked up. Fantastic. Mm. So one need to be right. Live in, you know, do the right thing. She mentioned um, we need to show mercy, you know. It's really good to be kind to other people. You you mentioned, um, Christian, you, you give... you. I think she, you gave an example on 
a messy means to give you know when you give to someone mm. so it's really good when you give to someone when you give it's not about money but when you give your mm. time you give mm. you know like now you know it's giving okay mommy tell me has given her time you know to come you know to teach us tonight she, she, she could have been doing something else you know she could have been in party or something and even your mm. parents they've given time you know mm. to you know to give you this opportunity so it's they've been messy merciful to to you and to us so and she mentioned something which is the last one on my note pure heart so and what she said something that really touched my heart that god the only people that can see god are people with pure heart mm. so we need to guide and she also mentioned something that the heart is the center of everything and god look into the heart so we have to be very careful what comes to our heart, our mind. You know, we need to, you know, guide our heart because the part of the Bible said um, we should guide our heart jealously, jealously because yeah, there comes the, the issue of life. Of life. So, so, yeah. so children is really important. That's a summary, you know, for other children that may be watching this program um, tonight. That's a summary of what we discussed. And we hope to repeat it next week mm. and, or maybe summarize it next week again, mm. you know, so that we'll be blessed. Mm. So, um... Thank you, Ma, for coming on board. God Thank bless you. Thank you for having me. I'm really grateful. So we'll be rounding up now. So we'll be praying some prayers as usual. Kristen, make sure you are praying. Don't say it's only you. It's like, um, I don't know if some people are on Zoom because I try to connect Zoom while we are doing it, but we won't be able to see them. They might be seeing us. Mm -hmm. So if you're on Zoom, sorry, we couldn't call your name because I'm unable to see you. But that's fine. So let's pray. Let's pray. Let's thank God for the grace God has given to us, you know, to come tonight to learn. You know, it's opportunity. You know, some yes. people are dying right mm -hmm. now, but we are here, you know, to, mm -hmm. we are here listening, talking about the Bible, mm -hmm. which is a great opportunity. Let's begin to thank God for this um, great privilege. In Jesus, name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, we thank you for the opportunity given to us, able to come, you know, to to, to, to learn the Bible tonight. We thank you, Lord, for meeting me that you've given us tonight. We thank you for Christian that you've destined to, you know, to watch this program tonight. We give you all the glory. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you. We give you all the glory. We thank you for all that children that have been watching this program, you know, after this, um, watching the video. Lord, we thank you for their lives also, for the time, for all the opportunity. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' name, name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. So as it says on in the in the Bible in the chapter we read today about the attitude of Christian, let's pray that God should have mercy on us. Is there mm -hmm. any way we've not been behaving like a Christian, mm -hmm. like a good Christian? Is there any way we've been sinning against God? Is there any way we've not been doing the right thing? Let's pray mm -hmm. that God will have mercy on us. Close your eyes and begin to pray. Please make sure you close the eyes. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Father Lord, I pray, hold on for your mercy tonight, O Lord. Is every way we've sinned against you in our thoughts, in our hearts, O Lord, Father, I pray you have mercy. In the name of Jesus, we pray, O Lord, that you forgive us all our sins. In the name of Jesus, Father, we want to live a life of you. We pray, O Lord, that you have mercy on us and give us the grace that we need. In the name of your child, any other any character I know that's not shown that we're your child. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. We have just three prayer points more. So let's pray. Let's pray the next one. Let's pray for the grace, you know, to to behave, to 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 live this life, the life, mm. you know, the life of humility, the the life of um, righteousness, and so on and so forth. As discussed tonight, let's begin to pray for the grace. Let's pray in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Father. We pray, hold on, for the grace to live, the grace you know, the good life as a Christian, to 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 to, to live the life in the beatitude. Yes, so Lord, Father, we pray you give unto us in the name of Jesus, Father, Lord. We pray, O Lord, we want to be right, so righteous. We want to be humble, O Lord. We want to, we want to give us the spirit of yes, of meekness. We want to be pure in our heart, O Lord, towards ourselves and towards our fellow human beings, O Lord. We pray, O Lord, for the grace, O Lord, to live this right life. We pray you give unto us in the name of Jesus, Father. We don't want to be we justify our sin every time, but we want to humble, O Lord, and come to you and ask for your mercy in the name of Jesus, Father. We pray for the grace, O Lord. To live a life that is worthy of you and in the name of Jesus. Lord, in Jesus' name, name we pray. Your name in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. So we are going to pray for our parents now. Make sure you are praying, please stand for your parents. So pray that God will bless our parents. God will bless their time and God will surprise them. Let's begin to pray. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father Lord, we pray for all our parents. Oh Lord, on this platform, we pray you bless them in the name of Jesus. We pray, oh Lord, that you grant them all their heart desires in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we pray, oh Lord, that you bless their time, oh Lord, you bless them spiritually and physically. You give them grace, oh Lord, to connect, to make this a power priority because this, if, because we, their children, we are their future. And if they invest so much in us, especially spiritually, they will have rest towards the end of their life. Father Lord, we pray, oh Lord, that you give them the grace, oh Lord. We pray you help them, you bless them, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. In Jesus name. Amen, amen. So we are going to pray now for yourself. So we are praying for yourself now and all the children on this platform that the Spirit of God will not depart from us, that God will be with us and proper us among all children. Let's begin to pray in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, we pray for Christian tonight. We use him as a point of contact to all our children on this platform. We pray, oh Lord, that you bless them in the name of Jesus. We pray, oh Lord, that everything, oh Lord, oh Lord, that we do, oh Lord, on us shall prosper every good thing in the name of Jesus. I pray, oh Lord, that we know you. In Indeed, in the name of Jesus, in the name we pray, O oh Lord, that the kingdom of hell, the kingdom of darkness, will not hijack them, O Lord, from you in the name of Jesus. They will Father, live for you, O Lord. Lord. They will that live a life show that is attitude. Of, yes, that is life, and a life and of example. And in this a, a, a life in of, 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 of a child Father, of God Lord, in the name Lord, of Jesus. The in this environment, in this community, and when we are going to define themselves, O Lord, they shall be, O Lord, an example unto us in the name of Jesus. You shall bless them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In your knowledge and in your way in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Yes, Sorry, we are need to have these two prayer points. It's really important. We are praying for Mommy Temi now. Mm -hmm. That we pray that God will bless her time. God will bless her family. Mm -hmm. She has, you know, she left. She has a little child, and she left the baby, and she's with us. You know, that's mm -hmm. how valuable we have to her. Let's pray that God will bless that. We bless that baby mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. and her husband mm -hmm. and her family in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, Father, we pray, Lord, for Mommy Temi. I pray you bless her. You bless her family. You bless, oh Lord, um, our baby in the name of Jesus. We pray you prosper for her in the name of Amen. Jesus and our child of love shall be the best of the best in the Amen. name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus name. The final prayer point is for Auntie Joy and the moment we will round off and that's the hand. So we are going to pray for me that God will help me and then we pray for the program that God will make it to continue that god will help us we send you know partners help us like mommy Temi. we send unto us let's begin to pray in jesus name mm -hmm. in jesus name in jesus name father lord i pray oh lord for this program we pray oh lord this program shall continue in the name of jesus oh lord i pray oh lord that you shall help me in the name of jesus father lord i provide i don't have power of my own but i believe in your in your grace oh lord i pray your grace shall be sufficient for me in the name of jesus i pray oh lord that you send help us oh lord people who lord that with partnership, O Lord, with this, O Lord, with this program, O Lord, with O Lord, we pray, we pray you give unto us in the name of Jesus, the right people, O Lord, and the right children, O Lord. Father, Lord, we pray you give unto us in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, 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 in Jesus' name. We are Mommy Temi Randolph, the prayer. Please make sure you are saying amen and close your eyes. You've not been closing your eyes, which is not good. Mommy, tell me, continue. Our Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you. We give you glory for this evening. We thank you for an awesome time in your presence. We thank you for teaching us by yourself. We thank you, O oh Lord, for every one of us connected to this program. Thank you, We Jesus. thank you for those of us that couldn't make it. We pray, O oh Lord, that you guide and be with everyone in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. We thank you for the privilege you've given unto us. Father, Lord, this privilege, may we never take it for granted in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Lord, we have served the little that we can say today. We pray, O oh Lord, that we be hearers of the, we be doers of the word and not the hearers only in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. We pray, O oh Lord, for your grace, O oh Lord, to do your word, to do that which we've learned today in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray, O oh Lord, that you bless Christians 
children, bless his family, bless them, oh Lord, with blessings that money cannot buy in the name of Amen. Jesus. Father, Lord, we pray, Lord, that they will never lack in the name of Amen. Jesus. Father, Lord, we pray, Lord, for Sister Joy, the convener of this program. We pray, Lord, that you continually be with her in the name of Amen. Jesus. Give her the strength, oh Lord, to keep pressing on in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh Lord, we pray, oh Lord, that you will bless her with blessings that money cannot buy in the name Amen. of Jesus. Jesus. And that she will glorify your name. Because she's the covenant of this program in the name of Amen. Jesus. And we pray, oh Lord, for this program. We pray, oh Lord, for help us, oh Lord. Let help us begin to locate this program in the name of Amen. Jesus. That by this time next year, this program will be bigger, better, and be the best in the name of Jesus. Amen. That even the people that she doesn't know of, Will be will will join this program and they will bless this program in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for answering all our prayer. Thank you, we Jesus. give you glory, we give you all adoration. Thank we you, say Lord. be that resulted in the name of Jesus. Amen. That as we go into the new week, oh Lord, we pray love for ourselves and all the other children on this program, their family, their parents, their their siblings. We pray, oh Lord, that all oh Lord, you will uphold them with your power in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. They will not die. They will not sorrow. They will not. They will not cry over any member of their family in the name Amen. of Jesus. Jesus and we Lord. pray, oh Lord, that you will guide all of us and you will keep us under your wings in the name of Jesus. Amen. In, in Jesus', Jesus, Jesus name. mighty Amen. name, we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. So let's share the grace, the grace of our Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, the love, the love of God, God and, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Spirit be with us now forevermore. forevermore. Amen. Surely His goodness, His goodness and His faithfulness all the days of our lives, and we shall join in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. So one powerful hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So Christian, have a lovely evening. God bless you. Don't forget your assignment. So your assignment is um you ask God for forgiveness every day this week, and then you look for the meaning of milk, you know, in dictionary, as I said, M-E-E-K. And then the last one you ask for the spirit of humility. That's what Mommy Timmy gave us. Okay. Good. So I'm so proud of you. God bless you. Have a lovely well week. Done. Bye. Take care. Bye bye. Love you, darling. God bless you. Bye. Thank you, sir. Thanks for your time. God bless you. Thank you, Ma. <laughs> Let me hand it. Ah, oh, we bless God. Hallelujah. Mm, amen. amen.